turning binary numbers into letters in just a few minutes. Remember to pause this video if it's asking you to guess and check. That will give you time to see if you're on the right track. In our first example, I'll show you how to convert this binary number into a character that we understand. Computers work with binary numbers and they're very intimidating at first. They take decimal values and convert those into characters that we can use and understand. So to get the character B, we need the computer to create a binary number with a decimal value of 66. I've broken up those binary numbers into two parts so you can read them a little bit easier, but the computer just puts them all together as zeros and ones. So let's imagine a light switch that has eight switches. The switch can be turned on or off, on or off. As we turn on those switches, we're adding those values together. And as we turn them off, they disappear. We'll create a decimal value anywhere from zero to 255. Each one of those values represents a character that we can understand. To get the character B, again, we need the value of 66. So let's watch. When we start, we'll start at the very left-hand side on our first switch. We're trying to get a value of 66. 128 is more than 66, so we're going to leave that switch off. Let's move to the next switch. This one is 64. Since this switch is less than 66, we can go ahead and turn that on. As we turn that on, that gets a value of 64, and we'll keep moving down the line to see, do we turn on the next switch, or if we do, does that put us over? So the next one is 32. If we add 32 and 64, that puts us over 66. So we'll continue moving down the line until we get to the value of two. When we get to two, we can turn that switch on because 64 and two gives 66. So that's going to give us the value that we need. 66 gives us a character of B and the binary number of 01000010 equals the character B. So let's pause and see if we understand this. I'd like you to get an A. How can the binary number give us a value that converts to A? I need 65. If you didn't pause, I'll let you pause in the next question. But what we did is we turned on the switch number 64 and the switch number one, and that gave us 65. 65 is the value that we wanted, and the binary number is shown at the bottom left of the screen. By this example. And we start at the left. 128 was too much. 64 was under our value of 71 that we needed for uppercase G. We kept going down the line until we got to a value that didn't put us over 71. 64 and eight would give us 72, so we left that switch off. We continued down the line and that was our final binary number. Let's try one more, the most difficult example yet. In that last example, we had to turn that next switch on. If we didn't, we wouldn't have had a high enough value. Even if we turned all the other switches on, we would have never made it to the value of 103. So it's important to understand that you can do Google searches and find websites that automatically create binary numbers for you, but understanding how to get those values and convert those puts you a step above the rest. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.